just came from a, a fun event, a networking event, ostensibly, even though it was associated with a charity. And I noticed at one point, uh, I don't know if it was a sponsor or what, but there was a, a sequence, a series of uh, young professionals walked by in a line and they all had name tags from the same company. And so I couldn't resist uh, after seeing this sort of samba line of uh, this big networking faux pas samba line, I couldn't resist saying something. And I said, hey, wow, there must be 200 people here from your company, ha uh ha. -huh. And they, they stopped and we chatted for a minute. And I said, has anyone, <laughs> this is the, the ultimate dodge, uh, rather than say it directly, I said, has anyone told you you guys, and I smiled when I said it, because I tend to look fierce if I don't, uh, if I don't smile on purpose. I said, uh, has anyone told you guys that it's not a great idea to network together at an event where you're supposed to be fanning out? And uh, this was an accounting firm, and so I assumed they were accountants. And so they said, yeah, but, you know, we're here, and that's what counts, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they were very nice about it, but I said, well, I guess the truth is that that's not really what you were hired for, is to go out and get new clients and schmooze. And they said, yeah, we just thought we were going to be, and one of them went like this, crunching numbers. So it is interesting. I guess there's two approaches to this. One is a little bit more of the, uh, the tough love approach is if, if, I, if I were their manager, uh, uh, and, and I, I would say to them, look, just rip off the Band-Aid. Just go talk to someone. It's not that bad. You'll like it. It's fine. The other approach is a little bit more to go at the root cause, and this is very common in B2B professional services. Uh, the root cause is... They're obviously anxious about doing it. They're not used to doing it. They haven't been trained to do it. They don't have the tools to do it. Do it, meaning go talk to, to strangers and develop relationships. And they probably have some experience that tells them, well, it does, I've never gotten a, a lead from this. I've never done anything. But that's not really what it's about. It's about the confidence of telling your company's story. And so uh, I didn't give them any big lectures on this. I let them go along their little uh, faux networking samba line and, uh, and they were quite pleasant about it. But then I noticed later on they were, they were all sitting together at one table. So I think the thing is, if you can, if you can rip off the Band-Aid, just do it. Don't uh, you look across at your, at your company mate and just say, hey, you and I both know we shouldn't be talking to each other. Let's split and just split up. And, uh, the, and then the other approach, of course, is a little bit more plan it out. Uh, if you're if you're a company that does business like this and needs your people out networking who aren't professional business developers and they may not be comfortable, uh, there are ways to do that, and I'll talk about that in another post. That's all for now. I will keep you posted.